Welcome back to BBN tonight. It was a fast weekend for the UK track program. That's right. The men's and women's teams were in Des Moines, Iowa for the Drake Relays event where the women brought home the trophy first place overall thanks to wins in the 4x800, 4x400 and sprint medley relays. The men, they didn't do too bad either. They got the second. They won the 4x100 meter relay and placed second in the 4x400. Next up are the SEC championships, which gets started on May 12th. The UK softball team earned a big win of its own this weekend, taking the series against Mississippi State two games to one. The win pushed the Cats ahead of the Bulldogs in the SEC standing. So UK now in a four way tie for sixth place in the conference. Kentucky is on the road against South Carolina this weekend, and the Gamecocks are sitting in last place in the SEC. Got to take care of business there. Yes. The baseball team, they lost to Florida and Gainesville over the weekend. The Gators won 9-2 on Friday, 9-1 on Saturday, but the Cats did bounce back to take the Sunday game 8-1. That was with Sean Harney pitching. Next up for the Batcats, a home series against the number one and very dominant team in the country, the Tennessee Volunteers. Game one is Thursday at 7. Dustin Biggs is a former member of the Batcats. He played at Kentucky in 2015 and 2016, and now he's a wild health genome right here in Lexington. <laughs> he talked with our Keith Farmer before the start of their season. Dustin, back again, man. Uh, what's it like to be back in this place and, again, so close to where you played your college ball? Yeah, it's awesome. I absolutely love it here. Lexington has a special place in my heart um, from playing in college and then playing here last year and getting picked up by the Mets. Um, it's a really, really special place. I love coming back. This league, we've talked about before how special it can be because you're not tied to one team. You get a chance to show your stuff to all the teams. Yeah, and I think that's a really cool uh, feature of the Atlantic League is that uh, you got a bunch of scouts coming to all the games. you got opportunities to get picked up, and I think it's really neat for all these guys. It really brings that competitive uh, fire to everyone because everyone's trying to get picked up and, and go other places. To have so many UK guys here with you, that's got to be pretty special. Yeah, I love it. It's it's like living in a college locker room again. Um, so I feel like kind of the old guy back at college, which is really <laughs> cool. But uh, yeah, I love having these guys here. And I came in to UK with Riley Mahan. So we got to spend a lot of time together. And then Becker and I played for a, a year together. Uh, but it's UK guys. We just have a lot of really, really good quality guys and yeah. uh, and really good baseball players as well. Any chance you sneak over to Kentucky Proud Park? I know it's, you're going to be doing your own thing, but it's right there. Yeah, I actually uh, I got up here a little bit early so I could go over there and um, hang out with uh, Coach Minge and Coach D, the strength coach, and and all those guys over there. I mean that. That facility is just absolutely state of the art. It yeah. is beautiful. So um, it was awesome that they let me come over there and, and uh, get some work done over there. Didn't play there, right? No, I did not, sadly. But still, when you're over on campus, does it kind of bring back the memories of wearing the blue and white? It definitely does. And going back and visiting the cliff is always an awesome experience just from spending so much time there. But uh, it definitely has a nostalgia to it. Even though it's a brand new field, it, it really uh, brings home that nostalgia. All right, so uh, I, I don't don't can't remember all the teams you've played on in the past, but is Genomes the strangest nickname you've played under? Uh, so <laughs> Genomes is is probably close on the list, but I played for the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp yes. and the New Orleans Baby Cakes. So I've been on some weird teams. Um, so this is nothing new, but uh, I love our colors. The kind of whole Miami Vice vibe is really cool, <laughs> yeah. and our our alternate black jerseys are absolutely gorgeous. Wow. So I'm excited to put those on. Going to be a natural rivalry with the legends here, you think? Yeah, definitely. I think that's also adds to competitive fire is that we want to be those guys and they want to beat us. So um, <laughs> and having a couple of guys that played uh, for that team last year, um, mm -hmm. like myself, mm -hmm. it, it definitely adds to it. You always want to beat those guys, even though you love them. How has this place transformed? I mean, just since last year. Yeah, I mean, the turf, the the lights, the board, um, it is, it's becoming kind of like Kentucky Proud Park where it's, yeah. this is state of the art and they've put a lot of work into it. Um, Andy and uh, and Michael Coltec and all those guys have done a really, really good job at, at making it uh, amazing for us and really redoing the locker rooms and all the stuff out here. But they've been doing so much stuff behind the scenes that is incredibly helpful for us to uh, to have success on the field. The Genome's first home game is tomorrow night at 6.30 at Wild Health Field, playing the Charleston Dirty Birds. Ooh. That's a fun one. Chris mm -hmm. Rodriguez is scheduled to throw out the first pitch, so get out there and support the local guys. Three former cats on that roster. And I like their uniforms. Yes. That was hot pink. <laughs> Sign me up. All right, more BB in tonight is right after this.